Welcome to our video on the geologic time scale. This is the standard geologic time scale that we use in geological science and since geologic time is such an important part of geology and we geologists want everyone to understand it, we made it pretty self-explanatory, right? <sighs> okay, so unfortunately, like a lot of things in science, it is possible to simplify it but then you lose a lot of information. So this really isn't all that easy to read or self-explanatory and that's why I've made this video. You're going to need a little bit of training to be able to read this beautiful multicolored monstrosity of super important information. Okay, so let's get started. Here's a close-up of that same time scale, okay, but just the time scale. First, let's look at those headers. We've got four of them, and we call them eons. As living things, life is pretty important to us, right? And so that's how we've divided things up, right? The green, blue, and yellow ones are the time that we've had large fossils um, in the rock record, and we call those the time of life, or the zoics. Okay, there's the Paleozoic, which is the old or early life, the Mesozoic or the middle life, and the Cenozoic, the recent life. Okay, now the Cambrian is when we start seeing a lot of large fossils with hard parts like shells and skeletons. So for a long time, that's when we thought life began, uh, which made the Cambrian really important. So this whole huge red amount of time over here um, we considered it the pre-Cambrian, okay? This is the time before the Cambrian or the time before we thought life began. But now we have found fossils of some strange life that was made of only soft parts and traces of algae and bacteria. So now we know that there was life in the pre-Cambrian. Okay, so the eons are the biggest time dividers and they encompass a huge amount of time and they don't have a ton of detail. So saying that it was hot in the Mesozoic is a lot like saying, I had a happy childhood, right? It's very general. If we want to get a bit more detail, then we need to look at the geologic periods. These divide the eons into smaller chunks, okay? So instead of looking at someone's childhood in general, we could say just look at their toddler years. Then we have even finer detail in the epochs and ages, which encompass even less time. Now let's look at all the other stuff on here, okay? Um, we've so far just been looking at the names and the relative ages of the rocks. Now remember, all of these relate directly to rocks found on Earth and the fossil evidence in them. Okay, so all this other stuff is the non-fossil evidence. These are going to be things like radiometric dates that give us the absolute age and the magnetic polarity of the rocks. Okay, there you have it. So now hopefully you know how to read the geologic timescale.